water, fire, air, and dirt. Brushless motors, how do they work? Well, first of all, what is a brushless DC motor? Well, every motor comes in two parts. The rotor, the part that rotates, and the stator, the part that doesn't. This is the rotor of a brushed motor. As you can see, it has quite a bit of parts. And a brushed motor requires the rotor to make contact with the stator via these brushes in order to rotate. This causes friction and heat and eventually wears down the motor. With a brushless motor, however, there are no brushes, no friction, no heat, it moves faster, and it lasts much longer. Allow me to show you just how beautifully simple these things really are. Quick tangent, this housing was 3D printed right here in this lab. We also cut our own metal and we cut our own wires. Alright, back to the show. This is the rotor, it has magnets. This is the stator, it has coils. We call this a three-phase motor because the stator has three coils. When electricity flows through a coil, it turns into a magnet. If the current flows counterclockwise, then the north pole is this way. If it flows clockwise, the north pole is that way. This is known as the right-hand rule. These magnetic sensors tell the controller where the rotor's magnets are, and it helps the controller determine which coil to make north and which coil to make south. For example, These two magnets are north, these two magnets are south. If the rotor looks like this and you want to move clockwise, then this coil needs to become a north magnet and this coil needs to become a south magnet. The opposite ends attract and the like ends repel. The controller then checks the magnets again and changes the polarity of the coils accordingly for as long as the motor is on. This causes it to rotate. Here is the software I wrote. I know it all looks kind of complicated, but it basically just tells the controller to do what I just talked about. Designing and creating our own controller is probably the most complicated part. But hey, electronics is what we do. Now that you know the science behind it, let's see it in action. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present our first ever brushless DC motor prototype. I don't know about you guys, but for me, nothing compares to the feeling of creating something that actually works. Special shout out to Nikola Tesla, for without his knowledge, this motor probably wouldn't even exist right now.